Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. As you may have noticed, a lot of things in this game, FC25, kind of work on a schedule. Rewards every week at the same time, certain SBCs that we expect on certain days, and Sundays in the last two years in this game have been almost guaranteed icon or hero upgrade pack SBCs almost each week. But so far this year in FC25, the schedule has changed, and I'm not sure if it's for better or for worse. I want to talk about that today because today is also a big opportunity to make some coins depending on the SBCs and the content that EA release because we have squad battle rewards. I've invested some coins. Let's talk about what you guys might be able to buy today as well. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, let's go over yesterday's Saturday content. Guys, yesterday was a slow one. We knew what some of the content was going to be and of course it did have to revolve around the rush event that was kind of previously advertised to us and it was released. Of course, the total rush promo. This is where the hype is according to EA. The slow it down rush event has been released. Maximum pace of 80. That's the only requirement. Now I have not played this yet, but also alongside of that, they have dropped an objective, which is nice. This is one thing I asked for and we were hoping to get was more objectives related to the extra flash rush modes. Now I'm not saying that these objectives are insane. They did put a little bit of SP in here to try to get us to do it. Totally understand. Play 10 matches, win three. It's really easy to get done. Assist in 10. Actually, I've heard that the assists in these modes are a bit bugged. Supposedly, it only counts if you're using like a silver or a gold base version of a card. If you're using like an SBC player or a promo, I'm hearing that it's not counting and that's really frustrating 100% because it should count no matter what card you're using. It says assist the goal in five separate matches. Doesn't matter what card you do it with, should, supposedly should count. But I'm hearing that it only counts if you have a gold or a silver. I don't know if that's true or not, or maybe if you're the captain of a team, I think it only counts. There's some glitchiness going on here. So we do have to get assists again inside of this slow it down rush mode uh, and some SP inside of here. The rewards aren't that great. 75 plus player picks, whatever, and then an 80 plus player pick as well. But it's really easy to get done too. So I'm not mad that the rewards are terrible. Or not terrible, but just mid because it is really, really easy to complete. Now, that's the Flash Rush event, max 80 pace. I don't think that rush event's going to be super crazy compared to the other ones that we have had just because that's not too strict of a requirement. But alongside of that, there's an evolution that is kind of supposed to be you know, inside, or I guess you're supposed to use your slow it down player inside of the slow it down rush event, right? Again, you look at the slow it down evolution that was dropped. These two go hand in hand because it is wanting you to play your games in rush. Win one match in a rush using your Evo player, play two, win four, and then win two. So it doesn't say in that certain mode, but it, it makes sense, right? You're supposed to use this player in that mode. Now, this slow it down Evo, I'm a fan of this one. It kind of reminds me of the supreme what is it sprint supreme evolution that was giving center backs a pace boost it's kind of that same sort of thing i don't think the evo is like absolutely mental but this gives us another opportunity especially for center backs that are always fodder or that aren't that usable to give them a nice pace boost it's free it's not that many games to get done it's in rush as well making it even quicker in my opinion you get the bruiser and the relentless playstyle as a part of this as well now in my club i don't have too many crazy cards one thing i will notice here is that some of these cards that are center defensive mids might actually be really good then i have the center back alternate position like this uh women's card here from the women's ix side that's a pretty nice looking card and she's a center defensive mid the bruiser and the relentless really really helpful for her too so maybe in the future there's like a gold card that's a common card that you could put into this one first get a pace boost get those two play styles and then boost them up into a chain evo it feels like a lot of the evos that we've had recently we're looking for chains with them because by themselves they're not the most insane but i mean hey if you wanted to use sven botman you can get him to 80 pace you get a dribbling boost as well no defense and physical boost it's just pace shooting and dribbling but to be honest we're evolving center back so what else do we expect right uh harry mcguire Wired to 76 pace. I saw an Eric Dyer with 79 pace. And there is a couple of Evo combinations that are rolling around. I think for uh, Andres Christ Christensen, potentially. I think I heard something about how you can put him into the slow it down Evo and then into Sprint Supreme to get him to 85 pace and 85 defending, which looks 
pretty solid there if you're a really big Barca fan or you want to get uh, Christensen leveled up. He's, again, a center defensive mid, but the passing's not that great on him. Anyways, this one is nothing super crazy, but it's there, and it gives us a chance to continually evolve cards for maybe a pass and present squad that you're going to be building, not cards that are going to go into your starting 11 for your main squad, most competitive matches to be played by them, but it's at least a decent evolution, and it goes hand-in-hand -hand with the rush mode that was dropped yesterday as well. Now, let's go to the SBC section where we had the only SBC yesterday was Squad Foundations. This is why I'm saying content yesterday felt pretty quiet. We have Aldasari from the Saudi League. Not a bad card. He's got some good play styles in here as well. Left mid, left wing, four star, five star, links to Neymar or replaces Neymar. Technically, same position uh, as he is. Finesse, technical, first touch plus. So really cheap, 30,000 coins for this card. And I do want to mention that... Um, the other cards in objectives, this Gabri Vega card looks pretty solid. Center attacking mid from Spain. I know he's got the three-star weak foot. Sorry, three-star skills and a four-star weak foot. Uh, he's got finesse, incisive, pinged, technical, and press proven. And first touch. Those are very good play styles for a center mid or a cam. He's got playmaker and box-to-box -box plus in the role categories as well. So as you're maybe playing squad battles this week and getting some of those objectives done, maybe you put in some Saudi League players to get the group foundations done. That could be a nice card for evolutions in the future too. His stats are very well rounded 70 defending 85 dribbling that's the the low to the high range on his stats and his card so i think that's at least worth noting if you're going to grind those games and those objectives those are decent cards but guys really quiet day of content yesterday and really the rest of the game in the market kind of showed that as well we did have a new pack added to the store and this is worth noting because it is impacting the market or it is going to continue to impact the market as ea is slowly starting to incorporate more store packs and more untradeable store packs right we talked about the ready set rush pack a couple days ago it was dropped on friday this one was a big one right a lot of people are sending this with coins to chance it yesterday dropped a deluxe season opener shooting pack which again 110,000 coins seems a bit harmless right if you've got a couple hundred k oh why why don't i chance this right oh a nine percent chance of a rush player 19 percent of a team of the week right it's the chance and it's the thought here that you could get something really good and when you won't always, for sure. We know how this game works, but that's what EA is trying to prey on. That's kind of a harsh word maybe, but how it feels, right? This is something that EA is going to continue to do throughout the rest of the year. We saw it a lot last year. It's really not a good idea, and some of you guys know this, but it's worth saying and reminding ourselves that temptation to open one of these door packs, especially with coins, this early in the game is not worth it. These are literally here to make us lose coins and ultimately devalue the players um, and devalue the market as well. Because when we lose coins from opening those store packs, turning our tradable coins into untradable players in our club, we're dropping our coin amount. But it's also devaluing the whole market, which is going to make a lot of other people lose coins as the market will end up dropping in some areas. And we're already starting to see the gold cards really start to drop off in price now i did make a couple of good flips yesterday on some cards uh the ronaldo that we had obviously i did buy some cards for a decent rise yesterday on a saturday but we're getting to that stage of the year where gold cards are just getting mudded and mudded so we're going to talk more about the market today in terms of gold cards and stuff but that's just something to make sure you stay away from is opening those packs like 95 percent of people should not be opening those store packs with coins only if you have millions upon millions and you're going to keep trading and you know how to kind of work around those store packs and you want to open them that's part of the reason why you're trading i would not mess with those now let's talk about the promo team for a second because as we like to do when a new promo team comes out we try to watch their prices very closely during the weekend uh, to maybe trade with them, make some coins, but also a lot of people want to try these cards out and time the low points on these. These cards, I mean, they didn't drop off as much as they maybe could have yesterday. Sure, KDB was 2 million coins, went to 2.4, went down to 1.9, and now he's 1.7 mil. But a lot of the cards, Griezmann's still around 1.1. Ronaldo is still 1.7 to 1.8. Uh, Lauren James, Trent Alexander-Arnold still 380, 400. The Youngs 1.3s. Chuamani still 600k. A lot of this promo team to me seems like it needs to drop more. And today at Squad Battle Rewards, could bring that supply not again the packs aren't super insane for squad battle rewards but we know what, what we've been saying the past three weeks respect squad battle rewards so if you want to watch these cards today if you want to trade or maybe try one of these 
Watch Squad Battle Wars the two to three hours after that, and even the first hour on Snipes. But the bids, some of these cards, especially the middle to lower tier, are going to get packed during rewards today. It'll be a great opportunity to pick some of those up to try them out for the day, or maybe for a quick flip trade opportunity. Now, let's talk more about Squad Battles because... That's honestly the big piece of content that we're looking forward to first today. And as we look at the market index in total, we say that yesterday was a pretty quiet day. Well, Friday, of course, we had our pretty sizable market drop off, which we expect every single week, just because that's how things are going. Friday, things get low. Late night, Saturday, we do have a decent rise into Saturday content drop time, as you can see here. That's where I picked up some of those cards from yesterday's video and was able to sell a few of those for profit. And then, of course, we dip back down into content. And then we have post content now. Oh, actually, for the last couple of hours, we've had a market that's been going down just slightly, though. Not a lot. 61 points on the index now to 59. That's not that big of a drop. It maybe looks a little more steep here than it should. But the market's relatively unchanged compared to Friday, right? Not a whole lot of movement on the market, to be honest. Stagnant content, stagnant market. But again, I want to point out with Squad Battle Rewards today, we're looking to make some coins. But I'm pointing out cards on the market that, guys, are just in the mud remember like two weeks ago we were trading with this davies because he would have nice fluctuations like two weeks ago october 2nd from rivals rewards he went from 20k to 29,000 coins insane rise not as many people are buying alfonso davies now for their team even an 88 rated card like diani is 26k and she has dropped what was she on Friday? Friday morning was 44K. Wednesday, she was 60,000 coins. Gold cards are headed to the bin, which makes me especially worried, I guess, about squad battle rewards today because I think some of those middle to low tier gold cards are going to end up going even lower. And I think we need to adjust what we look at today for making coins. Now, with these rewards being paid out, once again, there's going to be some supply on the mid to top tier, those 85 plus packs that are given out for the elite division here. A lot of people are still grinding for these rewards for sure. 25,000 points in elite one. There's still a lot of people grinding for this for sure because the rewards are decent and it's not that many games. We're going to have supply on the market today. Guys, get on the bids. I mean, you look at these packs, right? 75 times 10 tradable times two of those for elite two rare gold mega pack. And then a, sorry, a rare mega pack in there as well. Get on bids even for like chemistry styles today on like anchors and hunters and shadows. If you want to be trading with that, it's a rewards day where you can grind the bids in that sort of market as well. I know I don't trade with a lot of those to be uh, honest that often, but that's a really good place to be trading today. And then if we're talking grindy bids an hour or so after rewards, Look at the fodder for sure. 89s, 90s maybe. That Harry Kane price at 37K. Try to get him 33. You could actually get him there today, guys, right? 86s that are still in demand at the moment for people doing some of the SBCs that are out. 86s yesterday, even without any supply, went from 7.8K to 8.5, this Pedri card. So maybe you can win them at 7,000 coins today. It's going to be grindy if you're going to do a fodder and if you're going to do the bid method for Rivals Rewards today. Sorry, Squad Battles. Um, but there's going to be supply and there'll be opportunity to make some coins on that. That'll actually be the easiest way to make coins today is to get on the bids that the supply of these packs is going to bring. Now, as we're looking at cards that should rise, right? People get coins, they get rewards, they go back to the market and they start buying cards. What did we notice at least in the last couple of days in this game, especially on Thursday with Rivals Rewards, right? The market doesn't swing up as much on Sundays, by the way, as it does on Thursdays, like Squad Battles versus Rivals. There's a lot more coins given out during Rivals, so you see bigger price jumps, but there's always market movements today on a Sunday as well. But what we noticed is that the gold cards did not move as much, especially those like 50, 60K and below ones. People aren't buying those to upgrade their teams anymore. What they're buying are icons, heroes, inform cards like i'm looking at this bremer inform right now and this one on bid is one that i'm gonna have to keep an eye on i would like to at least because he's a card that a lot of people still want he's actually not that far from being extinct at 250,000 coins max price he's only got a couple pages on the market here and i think if i can get one under like two if i would love 215 if i get a price like that for bremer i think that's an easy 240k sale today right i think Carragher is another one who i'm looking at um 
don't buy him because I already have like seven. But he's like 80,000 coins. Like that one's tempting for me to buy. I'm trying to buy him with shadows for the chem styles. But that's a card that after Rivals Rewards went over 100,000 coins. And if you look at a lot of the hero prices in the last week, that's what people are upgrading to on this game at the moment. So like Brolin was just low. Um, it was like 330 or 340. That was really low for him there. Morientes, I picked one of him up uh, right around 259, I think is what it was. Um, he's down a bit from the weekend. People are trying out the aerial meta. Am I going to win this Bremer? Ooh, 205. We might have a little bit of a bidding battle here on the video. But these are the types of cards that I would go in and then I would look at, and maybe if you want to go with the golds, I did pick up a couple of golds that are out of packs, and then also top tier, like Bon Monte is somebody who I enjoy trading each week. I think Rafa Leao could be somebody that you look into trading. So maybe some of these top tier golds you could go ahead and buy, but I would be careful about the gold cards, especially if it's like 50k below. A couple of these could move, but again, like we're saying, a lot of these cards, there's not as much demand for. So I'm looking more into this realm and sure some of these are a bit more expensive and this is where we've seen the market rise the most even in the past couple of weeks but it's because people are upgrading to these sorts of cards i'd also obviously look at the out of pack specials like informs and this promo team road to the knockouts team one and team two just kind of remember which informs are you know meta enough this gabriel keeps going up in price 57k because people want a different prem center back it's not a gold vandevin but they can't you know afford maybe a vvd get or a saliba they're going for this gabriel he was 45k last week now he's 57,000 coins you look at team of the week two uh verts is kind of chilling i bought a rafinha at 355 because that was very low in my opinion team of the week three some of these cards i think were maybe a little over invested in vandevin's back down at 180 militao is 211 I think some of these cards could go up a little today. Martinelli down in the low 50s as well. I know we have some left wing Sterling type of SBC impending here, which is maybe holding his price down a little. But I think that these informs could be great buys. He was 57K yesterday, 52K right now on Snipe. I think that's a great investment there for a quick flip. Again, let me reiterate a quick flip for some of the market today. And then you got to watch the current impacts team of the week, specifically Valverde and Saka. Those are kind of the two only, maybe Lewandowski too, but two of the cards that you'd want to trade with today. If we get a decent amount of supply, you can see these cards drop and then pick them up as they maybe rise a little bit after that supply and those bids. So I did win a Bremer here for 217 and hopefully, hopefully he can go back up to about almost extinct at 250. That's what will be the, hopefully the plan because a lot of people are still doing Kefram Taram and stuff like that with my last 200k i might just have to try to snag a vandeman for under 180 because that seems really really cheap too so again top tier cards golds out of packs players icons and heroes i think will be the best for the quick flips today and i want to answer this question too a lot of you guys are like nate when to buy a team and this is kind of when we've been looking to buy teams and it could be a decent time to buy a team. But again, I'm going to say if you're going to buy a player for your squad, make sure it's on that mid to top tier meta. And it feels it feels like not as in straightforward as a decision as last week. Last week, we had a big market drop off on Friday, followed by another pretty sizable drop off on Saturday. And we really haven't had that much of a drop off yesterday saturday into today on sunday so i don't love the team buys as much but again according to the trend which again we talk about schedules today we're going to talk about schedule for content today and stuff like that in a minute the normal schedule is for the meta market that you have prices getting low with squad lot of rewards and then rising up afterwards so it should be a relatively safe time to pick a couple players up if you've been watching even if it's like a saliba rudiger is pretty low right now 140 i think for him is a really really solid price yeah he's even starting to go back up you'll see some of these prices if you see them go up a little bit dip again at rewards and you have some opportunity to get in there it's those types uh those types of cards that i could think for putting into a team it's a pretty safe time at the moment at least depending on what content could be today but i'm not like loving a team by at the moment uh for a lot of cards i think it's just i don't know the market feels like we're gonna get a big market crash in the next like couple weeks i don't know what the catalyst is gonna be I don't know what it's going to cause it, but at some point, this inflation of the top tier, and we still might be a couple weeks away because of the new foot champs reward system, it's its whole new world, right? But I just feel like at some point we're going to have, right now what we have is a huge separation of the top tier. Ooh, 216. Give me another one. Can I get that? 216 Bremer. Bang. I'll take that. I'm literally broke now. 63,000 coins. W. Let's hope for a market rise today. But... I feel like the top tier, the icons and the heroes are really starting to separate themselves from the middle tier on the market. And there's this gap where we're at right now where a lot of people 
either you're trying to save up to afford a big promo card player an icon hero and you're maybe stuck with a gold card but you're like moving past the gold so there's kind of a gap area right now if there's a bunch of promo cards if ea comes out with a promo where the cards are like halfway packable because right now all these seem very tough to pack a supplied promo team where a lot of the players are like between a couple hundred k and like there's not very many players over a million, but there's good players in that middle tier range, like around four to 500K, which people are building up their coins to afford. That could hurt the market a bit, especially if there's good SBCs alongside of it. So I don't know. We always get a big market crash, like into the mid to the late October timeframe, just because of the way the market moves and golds are already going down. But I don't know. That's just kind of my raw market thoughts at the moment. So if you want to buy a team, you got to get games in, right? Go buy the players that you want to buy. Just again, if it's a low to mid tier gold card, don't plan on holding it very long because most of those that hold value are not going to hold value for too much longer. Now, let's talk about today on content wise on a Sunday. As we mentioned, and as even last week we were talking about, guys, Sundays were always the days where we had hero and icon upgrade SBCs. And that's why even this last week when we had the max 87 base hero released on Wednesday, when it was leaked the day before that and put in the code, I was like, hmm, is it going to be Wednesday or is it going to be Sunday? It was Wednesday, right? Kind of going along with the lone hero and the lone icon pick that we had the couple weeks before that. Now that kind of changes up the schedule because in previous years, these were always on Sundays. I kind of liked it being on Sundays, I'll be honest, because you had your foot champs rewards that you were able to get, those coins, those packs, that value that you could then put into one of these fun gamble packs if you wanted to scratch that itch and have a chance at getting a big hero or an icon player. Now, with this schedule looking different so far, the question has to be asked, what's going to happen on Sundays instead of this? Or could we get to a point in the year where we're going to have one SBC on a Sunday, another one on a Wednesday? Because Wednesdays also at the end of last year, remember we had like the guaranteed tots packs on Wednesdays, all of our crazy like 90 something plus shapeshifter or not shapeshifter, but footies and all that stuff was on Wednesdays too, like the guaranteed packs. So really wonder what the new schedule is going to look like with these icon packs going forward because i kind of looked forward to those on sundays especially it's the weekend maybe more people are on maybe more of you guys are available to do an sbc like this so i have a lot of questions i really hope in the future we get double the icon sbcs like one on um sunday one on wednesday we'll have to see but at least for right now i think we can write that off i don't think we're getting another hero sbc today i just double checked to see does this one like refresh or something today it doesn't it just expires in a couple of days so that seems to be a schedule that is changing but i kind of wish it was the old schedule because sundays and icon hero species they just kind of they go hand in hand but anyways what else could we see for content today well we do have some leaks straight off the press of course you've known right we've talked about this every single day for the past two days sterling and a Wobi are both still leaked but we have seen nothing about those cards as of yet now what's interesting is there have just been a few new cards leaked to be a part of total rush mini release sbc objective yeah foot sheriff doesn't even know that's why he's got this here in the title bernstein diogo dalo there's been rumors about him recently in the last couple of days these are confirmed now daily blend and dovbik are all leaked cards as a part of total rush but again don't know where they're going to be at this makes me think will we be getting our first mini release of the year we did not have mini releases for road to the knockouts and we were expecting them we didn't have them will we actually have our first one especially since it's four cards it seems likely because of course that's more cards left than there are days for potential player sbcs they don't like dropping more than one player sbc per day we only got one yesterday and it wasn't a total rush player so that's kind of something to look out for today maybe our first ever mini release in uh total rush we'll have to see what these cards are looking like if we get official stats leak and everything like that but i'd have to imagine even though we thought about it yesterday i'd have to imagine for today as well that we would get a sterling or that we would get a Wobi as a player sbc and then other than that i mean Sundays have been decent content. Um, I think last week it was maybe pretty quiet, though. I forget exactly what we had last week on Sunday. Uh, the Team of the Week upgrade is going to refresh. That's actually a nice thing. Uh, I did not realize this refreshes. I think we 
forgot to cover that in yesterday's video actually so watch 84s and maybe 85s i don't know if they would bounce that much but 85s have been inflated because of the spcs recently maybe you get on those today if you're looking for a fodder bid with rewards maybe that could be an even bigger play and then yeah i think it's almost a guarantee that we would get a player spc um related to the promo today so either a wobi or sterling that could move the market now just really quickly i know we talked about in yesterday's video if we get a wobi or if we get sterling mostly sterling i think he'd had the most hype i wouldn't expect a lot of premier league cards to go up in value but what i could see on the other hand is a player like sterling coming out and players that you have in your team that you're going to sell to put sterling in for so like a substitute good in economic terms that is where you could see some prices dropping. I think there's a higher chance of that sort of impact on the market of English left mid, right mids, right wing, left wings dropping in price. If Sterling's very good value, then there is other English Prem players going up to link Sterling because he's not that hard of a card to link because a lot of us would have the chemistry links right now for that Premier League. A lot of people play Prem squads anyway. So that's just one thing to watch out for today. That Martinelli, who we shouted, like he could be a good flip today for rewards. Um, onwards in the content, but maybe it's something where you try to get out of that card before content, just in case if it goes up, you take the spike, you take the cash, because if a Sterling comes out when he's cracked, this would be a card that would probably take a direct hit. Same positions, same club even as Sterling. So that's just stuff to think through and talk to as we head into a Sunday content day today. I've got literally all my coins invested in some flips here. Let's hope Carragher can go up a little bit. Let's hope. Uh, I always try to pick up Bonmati. Bonmati is always great at like 220. Uh, last week, she went from 220 to 260. So I'm hoping she goes around the same this time. I'm not looking for insane profits today. It's just nice, small flips, making 10 to 15K on some of these cards per card. Hard, and then hopefully some of the heroes and maybe uh, the two Bremers that we picked up at like 217 and 216. 218 again right there too. Let me double check this graph. We're just going to do this live right now. Bremer Inform. He's getting listed a bit right now. Let's see. What was he yesterday? Yesterday was between 225 and 240. Uh, after rewards, of course, after the Taram came out, he's been very, very inflated. He hit 250 max price Friday morning. After rewards period, I mean, uh, that seems too low for me. So I'm going to chance it. That's trading with a rare out of packs card. I feel like my risk there is low, although he is inflated, but like, yeah. I think that's a good one. So that's the video for me today, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you're looking to invest in. And also let me know what your thoughts are on Rush at the moment. I know a lot of people are frustrated with it because the gameplay experience is not very fun because there is a lot of push towards it right now. But just when you're not playing with people that you know and you're playing drop-ins especially, there's just people that quit out and go AFK. And that makes the game mode more annoying or teammates that don't pass. Or maybe teammates now that pass too much because we're trying to all get assists in this mode. I have not played it yet. I haven't even started my foot champs yet. I got to get going on that today. But let me know how you're feeling about Rush at the moment. I don't think a lot of the reviews are that great. But I still think that it is the most fun mode in this game uh, right now. And I am excited to try that out here this week uh, with the different modes that we get the Flash Rush events. Getting those objectives done. And seeing if we get lucky from the packs and picks that we have there. So let me know that down in the comments below. But let me know what you're going to invest in today. Good luck with your squad battle rewards. I got to get a few games in right now. And best of luck with your champs games. I will see you guys on stream today. That link is down below in the description. If you want to catch us live, we'll be streaming, playing our champs. Hopefully some market rise and whatever content is today on Sunday. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys today in the stream. Peace out.